You could say it's one of our area's favorite mountains, accessible, picturesque. I've lived in the area since the early 70s, and I can't tell you how many times I've been out here, you know, hiked up to the top. The views are only rivaled by the history. Gordon Strong, a patent attorney, purchased the property acre by acre from a mining concern. Starting back in the early 1900s, he built a mansion and homes on the property. He raised a family. He paid local laborers to build roads and trails, paying African-American workers the same salaries as whites, a novel concept back then. It's really a, a benefit to, yeah. you know, the, the residents in this whole area. Before he died, Strong wanted to see that continue. He set up Stronghold Incorporated as a steward of the mountain and its immediate environs. Now, that was in the 40s. This part of the country's changed a lot since then. It's amazing how much this area has developed. And I was just saying to my, my friend that it, it would be a shame you know, if this continued this way. I'm not anti-development, but I am pro parks and mountains. And Strong had the foresight to keep development at bay, and it's part of Stronghold's mission. Lately, Frederick County has sought to do the same thing through zoning changes, the Sugarloaf Plan. But Stronghold's board isn't happy with it. If the Sugarloaf Plan, as presented for public hearing on October 11th, passes, tonight, passes, um, Stronghold will cease allowing general public access to Sugarloaf Mountain. If it's closed? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, I hope it will open. <laughs> Stronghold points to forest management and other environmental concerns that they say they've been addressing for decades. Without help from Frederick County government, Steve Black is president of the Sugarloaf Alliance, a local group supporting the county zoning changes. So that in the future, no matter who owns the property or how they choose to manage it, it will be conserved and protected. But opponents say it would create an unnecessary layer of government involvement on private property. There's also concern over surrounding property values even with a mountain of differences between the sides. End goal is the same for everybody. The question is how to get there. With public access to the mountain hanging in the balance. It would seem like they could come to some kind of a compromise or a formal agreement. Derek Ward, News 4. Now a Frederick County Council vote on Sugarloaf is set for next Tuesday.